just got to the air. It's a very pretty little air, and I do love how these are free. I, I know I'm, I'm never going to get over saying that. That's all you're going to hear from me. And John's just said, oh, look at you showing off with your European van. Of course, it's not. I've just got twin sliders because you get an area to the side here for you to be able to open your door. And there's people with chairs out and stuff because you're allowed here. Um, and I can because I've got two doors. So, <laughs> yep, I love it. Brilliant. Right. I am starving. It is only quarter to 12, but washing the van's exhausting, don't you know? So I might have myself a, a sandwich or something. There's a guy in the motorhome there and he's been trying to get out of the, off the grass. We've just woke up and John texts me saying, is that guy stuck? Because obviously he's on the other side of me. And, um, and I said, yeah, it looks like he is. And the next thing, he walks over there with his, uh, with his tow rope speaks to the guy, the guy nearly falls on his knees. I think he just thought he was stuck. Straight in there to make sure he's uh, able to get him off. Oh, he's proper stuck. There we go, and he's off. Look at that. One of the reasons why I love that man, I tell you. There we go. All done. <laughs> the man of the hour. I know, wow. it's, I know it's one of those things where you're like, don't video it, but I just think it's so cool and lovely off you. Yeah. I know, I don't, I don't, I wouldn't video it myself because I'm like, it's, it seems like you're trying to make content out of it, but mm. he was well stuck. Yeah. It was like down to his axles. It took a few goes. I used my, um, what's it called? Kinetic. <laughs> oh, kinetic one, Kinetic yeah. rope, yeah. Because it took quite a few goes going out, quite a bit of force to pull You'll it out. You'll be able to see it. Oh, right, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah. Spanish yeah. though, not French. Really? In a French van? Yeah. yeah, okay. Yeah. So you've got to carry the gear and do your job, haven't you? Well, you see, you've just made that worthwhile. Mm -hmm. You've just made it, made it so that can stay for another six months. It's the second time that rope's been used to pull a, a um, A class motor. An A class motor. Mo <laughs> We're not Lord. going to mention the first one. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> uh, but, anyway, more yeah. coffee. All oh, right, okay then. Fine. Yeah. I've not I haven't had breakfast yet. Oh bless you. Did you just get up and rescue people? Um pretty much, yeah. <laughs> oh I've had like three cups of coffee already. Yeah. Mm. Oh, well. Oh. oh I've just had a visit as well. The guy's just come over. Um obviously very Spanish, doesn't speak a lot of English. Yeah. And um didn't speak any French either, which no. confused him because it was a French van. Mm. So when I went over there I spoke French and he went. No. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, some yeah. beers. Awesome. Awesome. You, you could not have been more thankful, that guy. Yeah. Oh, you did a good thing. Well, it's nice to do nice things. It is, it? and it feels nice to do nice things. Mm. So, after the excitement of the morning, and now my diesel heater kicks in, uh, <laughs> of John being uh, somebody's hero, apart from mine, um, there is a stall that goes and parks outside the Mary in the town near where we bought some baguettes and stuff from yesterday. Um, and apparently it's on from half six till half twelve every Friday morning. And as it's Friday morning, and it is 11 o'clock, I was waiting for it to stop raining. It's not happening. So I'm leaving my diesel heater on to dry some trousers. And I'm grabbing a brolly and I'm gonna have a walk down and see what this thing is like. I think I've already figured out that I am in the wrong footwear because you can still see my van and my feet are wet. But what are you gonna do apart from I'll dry them while I'm drying my trousers when I get back? This stall here to see and I love it because it's just what little villages do best isn't it so this is a local farmer apparently who brings the stuff whenever people need it on a Friday so this lady here is lovely um, I speak terrible French and she doesn't speak much English but we've just managed to have a really good little chat about all the fruits and veggies there but look at that not one bit of plastic on those veggies anywhere I'll show you my haul when I get back bonjour Well, that was lovely. Um, I literally, I, I was thinking I'll get some ham and a cucumber. Uh, so I got a cucumber and then I saw how beautiful the nectarines look. So I got nectarines and some cherries, cause I love cherries. 
un saucisson en nature, um, which looks lovely. So I got that too for 11 euros. And it's all incredibly fresh and beautiful. And I got to speak terrible French and she agreed that my French was terrible. So I love it. <laughs> Right, so this is the pot. That pretty much speaks for itself. Lovely cucumber. Beautiful nectarines. They need to, not quite ready to eat yet. A handful of beautiful dark red cherries. Nom 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 nom. The saucy song. So, let's have a sniff. Oh, it smells nutty. Nutty. So, yeah, I think I might pan fry some of that up and have it with some pasta or risotto, or I could put it in mac and cheese when John makes mac and cheese next. But, yes, that looks rather phallic, actually, doesn't it, now I'm looking at it like that? I mean, I mean, really? If, some, if so you saw that outside your window, what would you think? causing carnage in my van at lunchtime because I fancy a salad you know what I'm like with my bowl whoop, full of stuff so I thought I'll have a thing I've made some couscous normally I can put in something a bit meaty teaspoon of pesto and I'm happy with that it's lovely um so when as soon as I thought of pesto I thought I should do that again so I've just got some standard Morico green pesto I am drooling talking about it. I love salads because it's like, what do I fancy today? I'll go slightly Mediterranean style, right? So what are the options I've got? I've got pesto. I've got that minty yogurt dressing. I've got balsamic glaze. Um, I can go for a mustardy mayo if I want to go slightly French style-y. Um, I've got sweet Danish mustard. I've got all sorts of things. Onion chutneys that I will quite happily just chuck in this bowl and jazz it up and make it taste totally different. So my one, two, three, two and a half cupboards of sauces have come in very handy. I also have this. This is my baguette bag that I made myself. It is made of linen. It has a double thing. So it's got a linen lining and a linen outer. And I braided my little rope myself. And this keeps baguettes fresh or edible at least for like four days stops them from going crispy and stale they do go soft and chewy i don't mind that um after like well the third and fourth day i've had to move i've been kicked off my pitch honestly you just you just can't get the right people when you come remote home and in france honestly people just get in the way wherever you go i'm gonna see how to move for see you see john <laughs> happily gave up my pitch because all of the actual pictures were taken and the only ones left were these like big strips along the side and of course they've got to get up quite high with uh, and their ladder comes out at the side so it's just like you know have my pitch it's fine I'll, I'll move over here so we're still in like a little thing and uh mark and sarah and the lovely vespa who i can see looking at me from where she is now she's beautiful they lost their other vizsla reuben they lost him uh, a few weeks ago so it's uh it's very sad but it's nice to get to meet vesper anyway hello hello how you doing I'm all right thank you. so uh we are being fed tonight aren't we hello so uh we're we'll being treated curry. to a curry so yeah we've got lots of wine in the fridge sarah's I've cooking there now. oh john's got his free beer from the spanish guy this morning so winning today <laughs> <laughs> so yeah it's all good stuff all right, lass. All right. That does not look good. We've all been outside in the sun this morning. What's the deal? That's it, just as you guys go and find champagne, leave us in the rain. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs>
night. Uh, let's get going. It has been a lovely, we've been here for three nights, which is the most that we'll want to push somewhere, but it was nice to get here, um, chill out, then get to spend some time with Sarah and Mark and lovely little Vesper. Uh, they were very generous with their food and wine with Sarah and Mark, because um, they are incredibly lovely. But yeah, so today we are off to another cow park, a canal side cow park. We found a B and M, so they, we do need to get just a couple of uh, supplies and things. So uh, I said to John, I said, well, if we've got a chance to go to B and M in France, because I've never been to B and M in France, then we should do that. I know this is weird and I know there's more to life than shopping because we're in France and it's beautiful and I can't stop taking videos through all the little villages because you go through beautiful little village, beautiful little village, then you're in an industrial area, then there's linseed fields all around you and the colours are just popping everywhere and it it is just beautiful and I love France so much that I've got to stop recording um, B-roll driving shots because that's all you're going to get. I need to work on that. Anyway, I'm going to go and have a mooch around B&M because I've not done a French B&M and it is a big thing and I'll show you. Come on. My conclusion for B&M, it's B&M. It's exactly what you think it's going to be, but with French goodies in it instead of English goodies in it, which obviously makes it a good thing. However, there was like single cans of drinks in there and they were a euro, if not more. And for me, it was always cheap stuff in B&M. You know, you could go and get a can of, can of Coke for 40p or whatever. So uh, it felt a little bit more expensive than the bargains that you expect. But it's a B&M and it's got everything in it that B&Ms normally have. So if you are after any of that stuff when you're in France, it's worth a visit. So I'll leave this video on a site that I would rather see a whole lot less of. We've seen far too much rain in France for my liking. Hope you enjoyed a bit of a mooch around the B&M and a site of all the lovely little French villages that we're getting. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it and I will catch you on the next video. Bye.